Hello, Shadow here, and welcome back to Oblivion. Last time, we helped out Shia Gorath and completed our first Daedric quest. Uh, and we also started this one, called the Forlorn Watchman, in which there's apparently a ghost haunting here. And, did I never put my shoes back on? I didn't. Shit, did I just like drag a ring outside and uh, drop it? Because I think that's what just happened. Indeed I did. Okay. And there's uh... He doesn't appear until 8pm. So we got a little bit of ways to go. But there's a mud crab around that's preventing me from waiting. I don't know where he is. Where are you? Can't be far. Otherwise, if you were far, I would be able to wait. My concern is that he's under the water. Oh, hey, a urn root. So worth it. I guess I did. Why am I mentally handicapped? The ghostly figure, the forlorn watchman, has appeared on the shore of Nibbin Bay. Perhaps I should watch him for a bit and see what he does. Where is he? There he is. ignores you when you try to speak to him. is very purple. I like it. Are we both failing to walk up this hill? Because I think we both are. There's an imp over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I had a concern about hitting the forlorn one. How 
far are we gonna walk, Mr. Watchman? There's another imp up there. my best. I'm not walking back to Burville. <laughs> the quiet life of the idyllic border watch uh, community was shattered recently by a meteorological phenomenon local experts are unable to explain. On an otherwise normal day, the skies above the, the small village suddenly darkened and burning dogs rained down from the heavens. The carnage was terrible, according to witnesses. Charred dog carcasses littered the village and the smell alone was enough to drive many residents into their homes. When asked about the event, local mage and weather expert Castus Philidus had this to say. There seems to be no precedent for this in all of Tamrielic history. While there have been stories of insects, frogs, and the occasional wayward maid crashing to earth, I have never encountered tales of burning dogs raining from skies. It is possible that the dogs were part of some mage's experimentations, with summoning gone bad, or perhaps the dogs were swept up in a great wind and hurled into the sky. This might explain the dogs falling onto the unfortunate border watch community. Of course, it still doesn't explain why they were on fire. While well, the experts seemed puzzled, the residents of Border Watch seemed only one explanation. It's the end of the world, said one resident who had asked not to be named in this article. The Kashara prophecy tells us that this will happen. The rats, the sheep, we're all doomed. Doomed. Prophecy? Mages? Freak weather occurrence? We may never know. And the small village of Border, Wa border Watch will definitely never be the same. I hope I can help. That's our work there. Sure, I know what that is. Any sailor worth his weight in sea salt could tell you. The mouth of the panther is what they call the delta where the panther river meets Nibbin Bay. It got its name from the pointed rocks that jut out of the water there. Sort of look like teeth. Mouth, panther, teeth, get it? I get it. Ships are always careful to stay away from it, especially when it's foggy on the bay. The rocks would tear right through a ship's hull like parchment. Can you tell me where it is? Be glad to. Here, let me have your map, and I'll mark the spot for you. Never heard the name Grantham Blakely before. Means nothing to me. Sorry. Be seeing you. While we're here, um, let's do what the loading screen said to. Oh, that guy's still here. Ungu. Ungolam. Ungolan. Cool. How goes it? Okay. 
Okay. Where is this place? Oh shit, it's all the way down there. Let's swim there! I might die trying to do this. So let's save. Woo! Whoa. Shit, man. It's cool. That's the door to Nibbin Bay. There, but we're not gonna bother with that yet. That goes to the Shivering Isles, and we're not there yet. At least I think it is. No, it's not. Never mind. I'm dumb. Oh no, it is. Don't listen to me! Swimmy, swimmy, swim. I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to swim, to be honest. Getting close. Well, closer. So yeah, what's up with you guys? Um, just tell me in the comments, I'd love to hear. How's your day going? What's going on with you? Anything momentous happen? Hmm. These rocks are quite large. So very large. Nern root, so worth it. Arrived at the mouth of the panther. Beyond the tooth-like rocks is the remains of a small cargo ship named the MMA. That looks like it may have sank a long time ago. I should investigate this wreck. The wreck of the M in the wreck of the MMA, a spirit attacked me. The vessel seems to be completely infested with them. I suspect that this—I suspect them to be the remains of the MMA's crew. Why this happened to them puzzles me. I should press forward and investigate further. Damn! I forgot to go to a store. a logbook. Um, after taking aboard a few more crates in Leowin, Captain Lafton pointed the main north toward the Imperial City. We pleaded with him to wait until the next morn, but he insisted on continuing despite the look of the sky. Let it be known that this decision was his. Tuesday. It wasn't long before the May hit the storm. It was just as we suspected, far too dangerous to sail through. When the last bit of daylight, with the last bit of daylight disappearing, Navigator Qu Quillen spotted an inlet off the starboard bow. The captain ordered the wheelmen to steer towards the inlet, hoping to get the, the May out of, out of Nibbin Bay. It was at, at that moment Gable gave me the sign and we struck. He'd always had an eye for the captain's position, and with the chaos going on, this was a, 
a better time than any. Only that idiot, Blakely, was still loyal to the captain. The rest of us wanted the May. The fight lasted maybe a minute or two. Blakely and Lafton knew that fighting was futile. Was futile. We toss him down below, and now Captain Gable has set the May for course for the inlet. Hopefully we can get her secured for a while, and then... There was a mutiny on board. Oh, hello. Ow. Whoa, hello. Whoa, Wraith. That was anticlimactic. Okay, I am very close to my carry weight. We're gonna need to go to a store before we collect the reward from this. I found a key in the remains of Gable, the traitor named in the MMA's log. I should search the MMA for a lock to match. Oh. Found a skeleton chained to the wall on the lowest deck of the MMA. I believe these to be the, re the remains of Grantham Blakely. I should use the key I found to unlock his shackles. I knew one day someone with unyielding virtue would heed my words and speed my release. Risk much to perform such a selfless act. This noble deed will not go unrewarded. Look upon the ground in this prison. There you will find a map to my gratitude. I thank you with all my heart. Farewell. Farewell. I now have Grantham's map in my possession. With it, I should be able to find the location of this place. Guess he was freed. I think all that's in the chest is gems, but in case it isn't, I am uh, going to have to go to a store. in the morning. You'll always 
always get a... I offer the finest goods at lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. No, I don't think we'd get much out of her. That's okay. Excellent bar. Wabajack. That seems a Okay, this will be great for my mercantile. You got it. Hooray, I can buy another house. Buy the next shittiest. I can buy the shittiest house now. You've made a good bit of. That's more than I. We do need five ectoplasm for right. um for a fighter skill quest. You've made it. So we're gonna just, you know, keep that around. But we certainly had an abundance of it. Fine. You can have assassination. Too. That's a fair deal. It is a fair deal, if I do say so myself. You got a fine transaction. Okay, good. Thank you for your... Good, 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 good. You too. Carry weight? 64, not bad. Try to get rid of the stolen repair hammer. Grab his reward and th get up the damn hill. And then, uh, what time is it? Oh, uh, not that much time has passed, actually. I thought it would be longer than that. Any nerd root? Though. Mmm, fried crab. I live in Maryland, and Maryland is a crab state. We've got nothing but crabs everywhere. Crabs coming out of our ears, crabs in our pants. Oh, that was unintentionally a sex joke. Um, I'm going to pretend I didn't say that. The whole thing was, I mean the crustacean. Why can I why can I not hit you? Oh, that one. I'm just gonna pretend that I never informed you people of of our crustacean surplus. Place 
is so hard to find. It's like down between three rocks, or down between four rocks. So I'm going to save in case we drown. Uh, treasure chest concealed among some rocks. Oh, it's right here. Nailed it. Oh yeah, see, it's a good thing I sold shit. We sold him. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Now, then, since we still got time, uh, only been recording for about half an hour, we can start to make our way down to Leowin. Looks like it'll be a night journey. That's okay, we've made our way down to Leowin many times. out of things to talk about. So, I said a couple episodes ago that I was going to record in bulk uh, tonight, and I'm still recording in bulk, but I'm running out of things to talk about, so after we get to lay when I think we'll call it for the night. I'll go downstairs and I'll watch Angel or something, because I don't feel like going to bed yet, even though it's like 2 in the morning. Timberwolf. the same wolf I just killed? Flop all the way down there? It might be. Butterfly flying at my face there. Body is very nicely hidden. His not so much. Uh, not really worth it. Free lock pick, which I will take. summoned up our faithful traveling companion in a while. That was the wrong spell. Our traveling companion who never travels with us, of course. There's another dead wolf. Killing the wolves, aside from me. And that's a dead mud crab. 
Is something killing shit down here? Because I didn't approve. Why walk when you can run kind of has always been your motto. Now the miles of running and the hours of swimming have paid off. You are now an apprentice of athletics. You the rate of fatigue regeneration when running is increased by 25%. Hell yeah, and I leveled up. Okay, I now know where we're gonna end the video. spell again. Good job, Skelly Butt. shit in this fog. Through the fog and rain, I have no idea where I am. Skelly but vanished god knows how long ago. There's a bandit. Right in the butt. going. Yeah, it's definitely going to be cut off time when we get there. And here's the White Stallion Lodge. Pouring rain. There's a living mud crab. But as I already said, I am from Maryland. And in Maryland, we know how to go crabbing.
Oh, so Mage's Guild. I think it's over here. Somewhere. Oh, no, there's the Fighter's Guild. So the Mage's Guild has to be right there. to level 5. Everything you do is just a bit easier, more instinctive, more satisfying. It is, as it, is, bleh. it is as though you had suddenly developed keen senses and instincts. Strength? Uh, let's go intelligence this time. And endurance. Come on. Alright. Now then, with the Ascension to level 5, we are going to call it. Um, don't forget to drop a comment below with things you'd like to see me do, and like and favorite if you want to see more. I'm Shadow.